if, if I'm on the other side of a deal where I got five people back and I got released six billion dollars that I can now use, I'm thinking, why don't I just take some more people? Because then I could probably get even more money released. Well, we obviously don't encourage people to travel to Iran. That's not a good place for Americans to be. But they, but if you go to a place like that, and if you get wrongfully detained, you need to know that this administration, this government's going to do what we have to do to get you home. So there you saw John Kirby responding to the recent GOP uproar over a prisoner swap deal with Iran. Um, as you may or may not have heard, the United States and Iran seem to be holding to an agreement they reached last month that is set to repatriate 10 total people, five Americans and five Iranians, and release billions of dollars of Iran's assets that have been frozen. And Al Jazeera reported on this. They wrote that the agreement was reached in August and both sides have confirmed a number of key details. As part of the deal, five US prisoners held in Iran will be exchanged with five Iranians held by the US. And Iran will gain access to roughly $6 billion of its assets frozen abroad. Now keep in mind, its assets, $6 billion of its assets, because the Republicans would have you believe that we're sending taxpayer, American taxpayer dollars to Iran, which is absolutely not what's happening, but we'll get more into that later. I also wanna add that there were concurrent talks happening on plans to heal the Iran nuclear deal, but those talks seem to have stalled, although these ones were successful. Um, but let's get into some information about who is being released, at least what we know so far. As part of the deal, Iran released four of the five Americans from prison last month and moved them to house arrest. Of the five, the identities of three are confirmed, all having been arrested over charges of espionage and cooperation with a foreign government. Neither side has officially confirmed the identities of the five Iranians held by the US. But Washington based El Monitor reported on Monday that the individuals had been charged with violating unilateral US sanctions on Iran. And a fifth was acting as an unregistered foreign agent of the Iranian establishment. Now, back to the $6 billion. The deal also includes the release of several billions of dollars worth of Iranian money that had been blocked in South Korea for years due to unilateral US sanctions. The money was initially $7 billion, but has now been reduced to $6 billion as a result of currency fluctuations. Now, you wouldn't know that. You wouldn't know that if you've only been listening to right wing media and right wing pundits about that $6 billion. Let's take Ben Shapiro, for example. Who framed it like this in quote tweeting an article about the news? Maybe Biden can, ex- or maybe he can explain why Biden just gave him $6 billion on the anniversary of 9 11, which I saw this yesterday and have been trying to figure out what Iran has to do with 9 11. And why Ben Shapiro thinks that this is Joe Biden is just giving this money. I don't know if he actually thinks that or if he just wants his dumb audience to believe that. Um, of course, Ron had nothing to do with 9-11. So I I feel like this is just bred out of you know, Islamophobia on Ben Shapiro's part. But let's talk a little more about this money. Because again, if you're listening to the right wing media figures, you would think that you know, you are going to be on the hook for giving money to Iran, which is absolutely not the case. In fact, the assets have been frozen in South Korea because of Donald Trump's actions. As CNBC News reported at the time, President Donald Trump unilaterally withdrew from a 2015 nuclear accord with Iran in May 2018 and restored wide ranging sanctions on the Iran Iranian economy in November of 2018. At the time, his administration granted six month waivers to eight countries that allowed them to continue importing limited quantities of crude oil from Iran. Senior Biden administration official said the money in South Korea is Iran's. The official said the Trump administration had allowed several other countries like India and Turkey to continue to buy oil from Iran and deposit the funds in special accounts. So that billions of dollars in oil revenue that was frozen in South Korea arose from decisions made by Donald Trump, which makes it even more odd that he would 
truth this out, I guess you would call it. Post it on his social media site, True Social. So let's get this straight. We did a hostage trade with Iran, but we gave them five very tough, smart people that they desperately wanted. Again, the identities of the Iranian detainees that are being repatriated hasn't been confirmed. So I don't know what the hell Donald Trump is talking about. He doesn't know who those people are. but. He continues, we likewise got back five people, but we also gave them $6 billion. How much of a kickback does crooked Joe Biden get and continues on with his nonsense drivel? I mean, Donald Trump should know. I don't want to give him too much credit, but he is the reason that these assets were frozen. He should know that we are not giving them money. In fact, they can't even use the money in any way that they want. Let's take a look at this from NBC News. To move forward with the deal, Secretary of State Antony Blinken issued a waiver last week to international banks to allow the transfer of $6 billion in frozen Iranian funds from South Korea to Qatar. The agreement allows Iran to use the money to buy food, medicine, and other humanitarian items allowed by United States economic sanctions. So Sharon, I mean, this framing by the right wing is so disingenuous. It's, I feel like maybe they're just trying to hype this story up to more than it is an attempt to deflect from Donald Trump's indictments. I mean, another reason why I think they were impeaching Joe Biden at this moment as opposed to sometime in the future or in the past. But I mean, there's just, it's, there's just not that much to it. Yeah, there isn't. And, and you know, Donald Trump never really read the materials or the briefings, but he might not know that it's it's been going on for a very long time. And this is indeed Iran's money, okay, it's there money and it's just unfrozen and as you said there's still restrictions on it but this is the same party remember who you're damned if you do you're damned if you don't criticize for you know Paul Whelan and other hostages around the world you're not doing enough to get these brave Americans home and then when it came to Brittany Griner why are you doing so much here why are we giving away you know so much here so again on the one hand you're not doing enough. On the other hand, you're doing too much and be damn the facts. And if he wants to know how much of a kickback, perhaps he should check his own wire transfers or call up Jared and maybe say, hey, did you, when this went down, how much did you get or Ivanka and the trade, the patents, you know, from China? It's stunning to me. You know, Joe Biden has made it clear. I'm gonna do what it takes to bring these Americans home. It's gonna be a priority, you may not know everything in real time. You can agree with that or not, but at least in the supporting documentation where you support your position, at least be honest, but some people are incapable of it. Right, and they do have to frame it like, especially, and I think you bring up a great example of Brittany Griner, right? They had to frame it like we're releasing the single most evil person from American prison ever, who's gonna go back and immediately be involved you know, in every major crime happening in Russia, which was so silly because they had never heard of this guy who they started referring to as the merchant of death before. They were just mad that Brittany Griner was released because she wasn't sufficiently patriotic. They would never mention the fact that so many women basketball players have to go overseas to play during the American off season because they're not being paid enough while they're playing here in the United States. But she didn't bow down to the US flag sufficiently. So, so you know, God forbid we get a United States citizen out of an unfair detention. I mean, oh, oh, Republicans, they definitely drive me insane. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.